Okay. In this class, uh, let us define what is meant by empty sector. Empty sector. See, empty set is uh, denoted by pi, pi like this. Empty sector. That means it does not contain any elements. Okay. Empty set. Empty set is denoted by the symbol like this and then close with the flower brackets. There are no elements in it. Is it possible to have an empty set? Can you give an example for that? For example, I took a unit test exam for you. I took a unit test exam for you. And all the students of this class passed the exam. Okay, once again, I'm going to define, I'm going to give an example for an empty set. Okay, I took a, a unit test exam for you in which all the students passed that exam. Okay, now <coughs> the students who have failed in this unit test exam because all the students are passed in this exam, therefore, no student is there in this set. Therefore, in this case, in this case, it is an empty set. Okay. Now, <coughs> this is come again, empty set. Now, after the invention of numbers, after the invention of numbers, we defined some operations on numbers. Okay, once again. After invention of numbers, we defined some operations on the numbers, namely addition of numbers. This is the symbol for addition, and this is subtraction, and this is multiplication, and this is division. These are the four basic operations we defined on the set of numbers. Likewise, we also defined some basic operations on sets. Okay. After invention of numbers, we defined some operations on numbers, namely addition of numbers, subtraction of numbers, multiplication of numbers, and division of numbers. Like that, we also we defined sets. After defining sets, we define some basic operations on the sets. There are, we define three basic operations on the sets. Number one is union of sets. Number two, intersection of sets. Intersection of sets. Number three, difference of sets. Difference of sets. Meanwhile, I want to define the subset. Meanwhile, I want to define the or subset. Now consider two sets. A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. Now B is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5. What do you observe here? A contains 3 elements whereas B contains 5 elements. Whether all the elements of A are the elements of B? Hear the question carefully. Whether the whether all the elements of A are the elements of B? What is your answer? Yes, all the elements of A are the elements of B. That means simply uh, in general English, I am saying whether A is a part of B. Yes, of course, because A is a part of B because A is contained in the set B. A is the set contained in B. In this case, we say A is a subset of B. A is a subset of B. We denote it by a symbol. The word, we denote the word subset by a symbol. What is the symbol for this? Write C and under C you write a horizontal line. This is subset. Now, A is a subset of B, that means I will write this as A is a subset of B. Okay. Now, come to this one. Whether B is a subset of A, whether all the elements of B are in the set A, what is your answer? No, because 4 is element, element of B, and but 4 is not an element of A. 
or simply B is not the part of A. B is not the part of A. That means here, that means B is not a subset of A. How to write not a subset of A? You write this symbol um, subset. This is the subset symbol and draw a vertical line on it. That means we have to read this as subset of and this is not subset of. A is a subset of B whereas here B is not a subset of A. I will give several examples for subsets. And in meanwhile, I, I, uh, you, you also should know the name universal set. Universal set. Firstly, uh, what I define? Subset. Subset. Later, I am defining what is meant by universal set. In, in, in taking some examples, every set will be a subset of one set. Every set is a subset of one set. In that instance, that set is called universal set. In that instance, that set is called universal set. I will, give some, uh, I will take some examples. For example, consider the model school of Midwardi. Consider the model school, model school of Midwardi. I am denoting all the students of model school of Midwardi by capital S. Okay. All the students of model school of Mirdodi, I am denoting it by the set capital S. In this specific example, what is 10th A? Yes, your section is 10th A. Now, whether 10th A is part of S, here S stands for all the students of model school. Whether 10th A is a part of S, yes, because Tenth, all the students of 10th A of model school are studying in model school. Therefore, 10th A is subset of S. Yes. And what about 10th B? 10th B is also subset of S. Yes. Or simply, each and every section of model school, each and every section, that means 6th A, 6th B, 7th uh, A, 7th B, 9th A, 9th B and 10th A and 10th B are all parts of model school. That means they are all subsets of S. Yes. In this example, in this example, every section is subset of what here? Yes. S yes stands for what here? All the students of model school. In this example, S yes is called universal set. S yes is called universal set because all the sections of this uh, model school or the subsets of S. Yes. Consider, for example, Telangana. Okay. Now, Mirgodi is a part of uh, part of which district? Mirgodi Mandal is a part of which district? Siddhipet. Therefore, Mirgodi is a subset of Siddhipet because as it is a part of Siddhipet. Now, Siddhipet district is a Part of which state? Telangana. Therefore, Siddhipet uh, is a subset of Telangana. Telangana. Now, the state Telangana is a part of which country? India. India. Therefore, Telangana is a subset of India. As far as our country is considered, the, here, the country India is a universal set. Because each and every mandal, district and states are subset of India. Okay. Now, what about Mirdodi and Telangana? Yes, whether Mirdodi is a part of Telangana? Yeah, of course. Therefore, Mirdodi is a subset of, subset of Telangana. And what about Mirdodi and India? Whether Mirdodi is a part of the country India? Yes, of course. Therefore, here Mirdodi is a part of India. Therefore, Mirdodi is a subset of India, we can write. Okay? What is meant by universal set? In particular example, <coughs> if each and every set, what we consider is a subset of some set, big set, that big set is called what here? Universal set. As far as the first example is considered, the uh, model school, the set uh, S, model school, the students of model school of Mirdodi, is universal set. 
and as far as the second example is considered all mandal states and uh, all districts are the parts of india in this case india is the universal set okay what is <coughs> Today we define what here subset and universal set. Later, what I told after defining sets, we define what here some basic operations on sets. Number one, that is union of sets. Union of sets. We denote the union of sets by the symbol U, capital U. Okay, we define. The first uh, first basic operation on sets uh, that is called what here union union of sets. Now uh, the operations are defined on how many numbers minimum we should have two numbers. That means if one and two are the we define addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Like that, in order to define operation union of sets, we need minimum two sets. Okay, operations are defined on minimum. Two objects. Okay, here the objects are what sex. Now, a comma b are two sex. As you know that the sex are divided by cap letters. I am considering two sex, namely a comma b. The union of a comma the union of sex, the union of sex a comma b is denoted by is denoted by Denoted by A union B. You read this. You have write this as capital U, and this is like as union A union B. See, if we define uh, addition of numbers, operation addition of numbers on two numbers, what will get a number? If we define any operation of sets, we will get a number only. That means two plus three five. It is a number. Two minus three, which is equal to minus one. It is a number. Like that, if we define the operation union then it is also a set but it is a set means it contains what elements okay now a union b is a union b is also a set is also a set and a union b is a set containing the element x what are the what is the property of x here this is written as uh, not straight line, like slant line. This is x such that x belong to A or x belong to B. Okay. See here, there are two types of R in English. Here, R is one 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 is exclusive R and another is exclusive R and another is inclusive R. In this x belong to A or x belong to B does not mean x is an element of A or x is an element of B, but also x is an element of A and B also. Okay, I will take some examples. Okay, now for example, A is equal to one comma two and B is equal to A comma B comma C. I want to find what is A union. B. Here, A union B is equal to simply what is meant by A union B means elements of A and elements of B. Elements of A and elements of B. Now that is 1 comma, 2 comma, A comma, B comma, C. This is your A union B. And consider for example, A is equal to, this is first example, I am going to do second example. A is equal to 1 comma 2 and B is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. Now A union B is equal to simply what I said the A union B contains the elements of A as well as elements of B. Now firstly I am writing the elements of A. Later what I said you write the elements of B. Now while writing the elements of B you observe here 1 comma 2 are also there in B. Are also there means are already they are included in A. Therefore, here you should not write 1 comma 2. This is simply you have to write 3 because the repetition of elements in the set are not allowed. Okay, what, what I am saying? 
repetition of elements in the sector are not allowed for example if i am <coughs> if i request you to write uh, the total strength of uh, uh, if, if i request you to write the names of your section you, do you write uh, rohit kama rohit kama rohit no you have to write the name only once therefore in the sector the repetition of the elements is not considered okay now you see the difference here a is equal to 1 comma to b is equal to a comma b comma see in the first example here the elements are no elements are common that means one is the element one is in the set a only but not in b two is the element of the set in a but not in the set b therefore here a and b is 1 comma 2 comma a comma b c and in the second example a is equal to 1 comma 2 and b is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 here what is a and b simply write the elements of a and as well as write the elements of b while writing the elements of a and b don't repeat the elements if the elements are present in both the sets you observe here now firstly i wrote the elements of the set a and here i am not writing the elements of b 1 comma 2 again in a and b because already those elements are included included now 3 is the element of b 3 3 okay i will take one more example a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and b is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 can anyone say what is a and b a and b means what here a and b contains all the elements of set a as well as elements of set b now elements of 1 comma 2 comma 3 and what are the elements of b 1 2 3 which are already included in a and b therefore no need to repeat those elements you should not repeat them. okay Therefore, here a and b is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. a and b contains what elements? It contains elements of a as well as elements of b. While writing the elements of a and elements of b in a and b, repetition don't allow repetition of elements. And come to the second basic operation, intersection of, intersection of two sets intersection of two sets the symbol for this is uh, inverted u inverted u what is the symbol for union of two sets u capital letter u like this you have to write and what is the symbol for intersection of two sets that is inverted u now the operations are defined on what here we need two sets minimum two sets now that is a comma b are two sets a comma b are two sets we denote the intersection of two sets by the symbol A and this is inverted B, that is A intersection B. What I said, if you define any operation on the set, we will get another set. As it is a set, it is defined, it contains what elements? Because a set contains elements. But what type of elements are there in A intersection B? For example, X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. What does what does it mean? What does and uh, what does n <coughs> indicates here? That means x should be common element for a and b. X should be common element for a and b. Now, for example, see a is equal to one comma two three and b is equal to two comma four comma six. Now here a intersection b common elements. Common elements means that elements should present in the set a as well as in the set B, 1 present in A but not in B, therefore 2 it is present in uh, A as well as B, therefore in A intersection B the element 2 is included and what about 3, 3 is included, 3 is not included, therefore here A intersection B is equal to 2, that means A intersection B contains common elements in A and B, common elements in A and B, I am going to define Disjoint sets. Disjoint sets. What is meant by disjoint sets? Two sets. A comma B. Two sets. A comma B are said to be disjoint sets. Are said to be disjoint disjoint sets. If A intersection B is equal to empty set, that means no common elements are there. For the sector A and B. Is it possible 
to, to have a disjointed? Of course. For example, you consider the 10th A section and 10th B section. Whether anyone's name is there in 10th A and as well as in 10th B? No. No common elements are there because if the student is in 10th A, then his name is not included in 10th B and vice versa. Now, therefore, here 10th A intersection 10th B is empty set. Therefore, here the sections, ten, the set, namely sections means here, it indicates a set. 10th A, the section 10th A and the section 10th B are disjoint sets. Disjoint sets. Okay. Okay. Uh, as far as now, in this class, we define what union of sets. That is union of sets. Okay. Now, union of sets, it contains what elements? It contains the elements of set A and the elements of set B. And later, we defined intersection of sets. Intersection of sets. Intersection of sets means what? Uh, if A comma B are two sets, union of two sets is denoted by what here? A union B. And what about intersection of sets? If A comma B are two sets, the intersection of two sets is denoted by A intersection B. It is also a set. It is also a set. It can A union B contains what elements? A union B contains all the elements of A and all the elements of B. In writing A and B, don't forget that repetition of elements are not allowed in sets. Repetition of elements we should not write. And later, later on we defined what is meant by intersection of sets. Intersection of sets is denoted by what here? A and this is inverted V, U and B. A intersection B. It is also a set. It contains what type of elements? It contains the common elements of A and B. Common elements of A and B. Later, we defined disjoint sets. Disjoint sets. What is meant by uh, what are meant by disjoint sets? Two sets A comma B are said to be disjoint sets if their intersection is empty set. Two sets A comma B are said to be disjoint sets. If their intersection is empty sets. If A comma B are two sets and A intersection B is equal to empty set, then the two sets A comma B are said to be disjoint sets. Later. And uh, what is the third basic operation we are going to define? Difference of two sets. A comma B are two sets. Two sets. Now A minus B is a set, it is defined as x such that x belong to A comma x does not belong to B does not, and x does not belong to B and here the, what is the first set here? A and the second set is B it, that means x should be an element of A but x should not be an element of B similarly we define what is meant by B minus A there is difference difference between A minus B and B minus A. Now here, what is the first set? The first set is B and the second set is A. Here X such that. Now what is the first set in here? A. X belong to A. What is the first set here? B. We write X belong to B and X does not belong to A. Let us take some examples. A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and B is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 4. I want to write A union B, A intersection B, A minus B and B minus A for this specific example. Now I am writing A union B. What is A union B? Element, it contains elements of A as well as elements of B. First I write the elements of A, 1 comma, 2 comma, 3. Elements of B, 2 already included, 3 already included and like 4. This is A union B and come to the A intersection B. What are the common elements? 1 is not included here, it is included, no common element. 2 is a common element, 3 is a common element, this is 2 comma 3. Okay, come to A minus B. Firstly, I am writing A, 1 comma, 2 comma, 3, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4. No confusion. Firstly, round the common elements. Two is a common element. 
Now, what is the first step? A. And what are the elements left now? 1, comma, 3. That is, A minus B is equal to 1, comma, 3. 1 is an element of A, but not element of B. 3 is an element of A. Oh, sorry. You have to round in 3 also. This is comma element. This is A minus B is equal to 1. Firstly, how to write the A minus B? Firstly, round the common elements and write the remaining elements of the first set. What is the first set here? A. This is first set. And come to B minus A. That is 2 comma 3 comma 4 minus A. 1 comma 2 comma 3. What is the first set here? B. Firstly, uh, round the common elements. 2, 2, 3, 3. Now, what are the elements left in the first set? 4. Therefore, this is B minus A is equal to 4. These are the this is our problem.